होम श्री साइरा होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एट होम चिल्ड्रेन सो वी हैव सीन द वीडियो वन अबाउट द कॉन्वर्जेशन डायलॉग्स बिटवीन टू कैरेक्टर्स टू मेन कैरेक्टर्स इन द स्टोरी राइट हु आर दे नरेटर एंड शो वन राइट एंड एट लास्ट वॉट हैपन सो ग्रुप अग्री टू हेल्प टू हेल्प द ऑथर एंड yes at that night author went to sohan's house this was we have seen in the video 1 now let's see what we are going to see see in video 2 right part 2 part 2 we already discussed in part 1 that we are going to see the question and answers and some vocabulary development exercises right shall we start okay hope you all have revised the lesson once again right let's go to the part 2 yes here we are going to see the question and answers in text question and answers yes let's see and when we have a proper understanding of the question and answers then you can have a proper understanding of the lesson right if you can answer immediately just by looking at the question means you had a thorough understanding of the lesson right let's see the question and answers answer these questions in about 30 40 words each why could the young man Not afraid to buy even a plate of potato chips and a cup of coffee. When the narrator, when the author came to the Delhi, when the author came to Delhi, what happened? He was looking at the tea shop. He wanted to buy a cup of coffee and a plate of potato chips, but he couldn't afford. Afford? Why? Yes, he has only five rupees in his pocket. If he spends that money for that, what happens? The rest of the days he cannot spend in a place like Delhi, right? He was unemployed and had just five rupees in his pocket. Why did the young man refuse to get his shoes polished? He did not have. He didn't have sufficient money to pay for a cup of coffee and a plate of potato chips. Even though he was hungry, getting his shoes polished was not important for him. At that moment, when he came to our new place, only having five rupees in his pocket, what is important? Going for the shoe polish is important, or yes, filling his stomach, filling his thirst, hunger is important for him, right? So that's why he didn't feel that shoe polish is important for him, right? And he has come to a new place right and children don't think that potato chips is given and we all can fill our hunger with the potato chips chips and start eating potato chips don't do that only the author has given for our understanding right instantly the thought seized me to what thought does the speaker refer to what thought has come in his mind instantly suddenly a thought came into author's mind what was the thought it says that he should start polishing shoes and work as a shoe shine to earn his livelihood he came to a new place and when he inquired in his conversation he came to know that the boy soon is earning more money than a garment clerk so then he thought that immediately he cannot get a job in delhi yes and he has to spend some time there immediately can't get where he will he get the money for to stay or to food or for his clothing all these things will be there right then he thought why can't i choose this shoe polish right now at this moment can i do this that thought has come into his mind suddenly right now let's see the next question what does the expression he read it in this context mean what is this meaning what is the meaning of he read it what is the meaning of this yes he should understand what he meant it it means that for example sometimes even your teachers tell even your friends look at you look at your facial expressions and they tell that yeah i read this boy's mind read means he understand he understands you right so that's the meaning of read it okay Had you been in such a situation, a no job, no money in the pocket, what would you have been your reaction? Just imagine you have given your personal and individual responses. This is not the answer. I want you all to think about it, right? So if you are in the same position like author, think about it. What would you do? You don't have money. You don't have job. You don't have food to eat. What would you do? For example, let me tell about my opinion. 
if i am at that moment what would you i do i will be just taking any job which has come to my way because i have to survive i cannot leave i cannot wait for any job to come right i have to survive in a new place so what i will do i will take up any job which comes to my way and i will see that i will have my a proper food or a proper shelter and i will survive in a new place that's what we all do hope you all will be doing the same thing right there is no other option there is no other alternative no money no food no shelter right and no relatives in new place you can't do anything more than this right let's see the next question how much money did the author have in this pocket in his pocket how much money he has Very good, wonderful answer. He has five rupees in his pocket. Pick out the words which help you to find the answer. Just five rupees. But the simple fact is that I only have five rupees and loose change. Who told this? Narrator told this to the boy. What did he say? He told that I have only five rupees in my pocket and some loose change. Right. so it means that if you are able to answer the questions quickly you are you understood the lesson very well right now let's see the next question there was a puzzled and hurt expression on his face why was the shoe shine puzzled and hurt why was the boy so puzzled let's see what the answer is that an educated man would think of polishing shoes was very much beyond his imagination he was hurt at that such an idea from an educated man hurt means not hurt by his words or actions hurt means just thinking so so puzzled the boy was so puzzled generally you know what happens an educated people don't like to do the works like shoe polish or you know uh, a kind of uh, begging on the roads or a kind of you know all this they feel that it's a low caste jobs a low cadre jobs and they feel we are educated that's what they feel but this man so much educated he finished his graduation post graduation from a university but still he chose this kind of profession profession right so that's why the boy was so puzzled when he heard from the author right the shoe shine suggested that the author should get his shoes polished what reason did he give so the boy was insisting him you can go for the shoe polish sir like this he was telling what reason he gave an unemployed educated man can impress the officer in the office at that might help him to get a job when you are going for a job imagine or when you are going for a party will you go with the unironed clothes or you know unpolished shoes or a torn clothes you don't go you go with the polished shoes and you go with the neatly dressed yes pretty face we all go like this and especially when you are going for a job and you want to impress your boss you have to go with the shoe polish and your neatly ironed clothes all you will do it right that's what the boy was trying to impress trying to tell him sir you cannot impress your officer with this unpolished shoes so please go for the polish but if i can persuade the others shonlal said breaking into my thoughts who were the others who were the others what thoughts of the narrator are being hinted who are the others children yes that's good wonderful answer who are the others means the other boys other people in the group others in the crowd others in the circle right other shoe shine boys working in cornered circles cornered circle 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 everything is right right circle means a market place to work as a shoe shine became his goal whose goal author's goal why he has become why it has become his goal because straight away after coming to delhi such a metropolitan city big city he can't get the job and you nobody welcomes him that sir please come there is a job for you right and he has to survive there and he has only 5 rupees in his pocket how can he survive so he has chosen this job right we have seen the question and answers in the previous slides right 
so you have answered very well it means that your understanding was very good now let's see some exercises right where you can improve your vocabulary right let's see what these exercises are select suitable phrase what phrase is phrase means a combination of words is called as a phrase right there are some phrases given in the box we are going to see which phrase suitably fits into the blank okay let's see what the phrases given are from the ones given and complete the following sentences one of them is additional one is given extra items don't worry about it right make fun of pull a long face makes a living gave another chance pull down these are the few phrases we have seen in the box now we are going to see which one suitably appropriately fits into the box rani's sister has lost her husband she dash by giving music lessons what will be the right answer just think about it yes very good the answer is she makes her living makes her living means surviving she need to have some income right she makes her living by giving music classes now next one we should not dash people who stammer you know some people have speech defect they cannot speak so confidently so clearly like us their voice stammers right so we should not make yes yeah, very good we should not make fun of the people who stammer whose voice is not clear who has a speech defect we should not we should not make fun of them right ahmed had broken a glass vase when his mother scolded him what did he do it seems ahmed has broke something and mother has scolded him right when you do some mischievous things your mother also scolds you right what do you do then yes you put a long face long face means sitting in the corner and not talking to mother and you'll get so you'll feel so angry you know you'll just don't talk to mother for some time that's called keeping a long face pulled a long face right that's called the meaning of long face he kept his he is he kept his face long right that's called long face amit was strong and healthy last month he had influenza he looks dash now amit was strong and healthy he was a strong boy it seems but what happened suddenly he got some he got some health issue right he got influenza he looks how is looking now he looks pulled down pulled down means he lost his weight you know he is looking so dull he look he is looking so tired right he is not looking so healthy like last month so now let's see some more exercises complete the following sentences by using the following phrases appropriately appropriately means a correct which is apt to the sentence had come and gone letting in taken up reluctantly agree jumped with joy pay back okay shall we see the sentences when rita saw her lost puppy in her father's arms she what happened to her when rita lost when rita saw that puppy has lost puppy jumped and it was not there with them right what could be the expression of rita and which word fits into the blank appropriately that's good so what comes jumped with joy what happened suddenly lost puppy was found rita was obviously rita will be jumping with joy jumped with joy means very happy right Mother didn't want me to spend the night at my friend's house but when my friend's mother called her and assured her she what happened mother was not ready to send you to the friend's house to have a night studies but mother's friend called your mother then what happened what was mother's expression there what mother could have answered there reluctantly agreed I means she's not so happy she is not so confident to send you but when mother other friends mother called then there was no other choice mother your mother reluctantly means not with all uh, you know completely confidently she did not agree but agreed third one let's see the third blank i am awaiting my results 
But in the meantime, I have dashed a temporary job. I'm waiting for my results. Means I've I've written for a job. I've written a written test for a job, and I'm waiting for my results. In the meanwhile, what I have done? I have taken up. Means I I didn't waste my time. I took up some other job, right? Now let's see the next one. My friend lent me some money, and I promised to. pay back by the next month right now i don't have money my friend is helping after that next month what i'll do i'll pay back the old man was sitting at the same table in the coffee house since morning many people had come and gone but his son did not show up so old man was sitting at the same table in the same place waiting for his son all the many people are coming and going but his son did not come the security at the bank has been tightened they are not dash as anyone without an id proof the security at the bank has been tightened they are not letting in when you go to a bank when you go to you know that without your identity card they They love you to come inside. What happens? Whoever wants, they'll come inside. No, without the proper information, they don't send you inside, right? Now think and write your answers. So these are the children. These are think and write answers. You have to think and write, right? The narrator literally jumped with joy when he was allowed to become a shoe shine. What does this mean? Why do you think? Why did the narrator jump like that? he was excited at the acceptance because all the group all the people have agreed and accepted agreed to love him yes to work with him with them with them so that's why he agreed he I was so happy did the narrator look down upon the work of a shoe shine give reasons no offered to be a shoe shine himself though he was an educated young man Did he look down? Look down means not looking down. Means seeing him as a low cadre job. Did he look like look him look at him like that? No, the author did not look at that boy like that. Yes, and he also being an educated man, he also agreed to work as a shoe shine. Right? Is it what kind of people it is? Sorry, it is. what kind of people we are that is more important than the way we earn our living how is this exemplified in this story example of shobhan lal and his friends helping the narrator prove their human values attitude to work counts yes did you understand the question it is what kind of people we are that is more important than the way we earn our living how we earn our living how we uh, live together uh, how we are happy with our family members is not so important what is important how we are living how we are important more important that is more important than what we earn our living right so what did we understand here son and his friends had very good human values they understood the other boys pain and they all tried to help their author it shows attitude to work counts your attitude how much eager how much you are willing to help others is important that matters a lot yes now we have an activity children wonderful activities we have let's go in let's see the activities okay let's go right let's go to this activity world Imagine you are the young man. You are an young man. Imagine, just imagine. Don't say that, ma'am. I am just studying ten standard, or I am studying seven standard, something like that. Okay, I am a student. I know that. Just imagine. Write a page in your diary, recording your reaction to the cooperative gesture of the members of the Shoe Shine Association. When all agreed, when all have come forward to help you, when all told that we will contribute money to buy all the things. what is your response how did you react how did you feel at that moment write down in your diary okay this is one activity you all now have to write a diary entry no because you most of you have a habit of writing diary before you go to sleep right next one suppose you are the young educated man 
your father has come to know about your new profession and is unhappy at your decision write a letter to convince your father that your decision was the best option in these situations imagine that for example author's place right author went to delhi and author like uh, he immediately straight away he cannot uh, get a job so what did he do he jo- he chose yes shoe shine right in the same manner you are in the same position and your father came to know about it that you are doing such a low job and father is so unhappy yes you have a broad mind but your father has a little narrow mind because of their age he was thinking so bad that you have chosen such a you know low cadre low job and how are you going to convince your father write a letter to him at that situation at that circumstances what is important why you have chosen that job you have to write a letter to your father and father should get convinced with your answer such a way you should write a letter to your father hope you all will be doing it very good wonderful write a paragraph on profession of my choice yes write a paragraph what have we go what we have seen in this slide you are going to write a diary entry you are going to write a letter you are going to write a paragraph you are going to write a paragraph on profession of my choice what is my profession why it is going as per my choice or by the force of my parents or all my friends have chosen this choice this profession i have chosen this so you are going to write a paragraph on profession of my choice so this is an activity and you are going to do all this three and you are going to revise revise the previous video and this video for better understanding once again go through the question and answers also okay hope you all like the story very much and you understood the question and answers very well right thank you so much om sri sai ram